Hello my beautiful Capricorns and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica. This is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I'm a psychic medium and a prophetess. If you're new here, welcome in my loves. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the tribe. Um, those of you guys returning, welcome back. All right, so you guys have seen the title. You guys already know why you're here. This is um, another June energy check-in um, for mid-month to the end of June. Um, so we're just going to see like what the rest, you know, what the next like two weeks has in store for you. Okay. Basically we're going to see what's coming towards you. What's going to change, what's shifting at this time, maybe what some challenges could be. Um, I spent a lifetime looking for you. That's what I just heard. That's what I just heard, right? It's that looking for love in all the wrong places. Okay. Um, healer of the ages. This could be a masculine energy who's feeling this way or a masculine who, um, maybe, you know, has, was looking for love in all the wrong places. Maybe this is you Capricorn where, you know, you feel like you've, you've lost in love over and over again. Okay. Something like that. Right. <clears throat> um, I also heard before I started you guys' reading, I heard, um, in the eye of the beholder. I didn't hear beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I heard in the eye of the beholder. So it feels like it's a perspective thing. It's a perspective thing. So there's something about you seeing things the way others can't or possibly someone seeing you in a very special way is kind of what I get. It's, a, it's in the eye of the beholder, okay? So whoever is beholding the vision is the one, right? So there's something with that. Um, I think that I spent a lifetime looking for you. I, I, I really do feel that. I feel that there's this love of a lifetime kind of thing coming towards you. Um, but first... Something had to happen where you could see the love that is coming towards you. Meaning like two years ago in your life or a year ago or six months ago or whatever, right? If this love came into your life, you maybe would not have recognized it for what it truly is. Okay. And maybe this is connected to you. Maybe there is someone here that didn't see something or you maybe for, for what it truly was. Maybe now they do. I just feel that the eye of the beholder, this is like a perspective thing. No matter what though, it's like someone, someone sees you Capricorn and they know that you're a treasure. They know that you're a treasure. X marks the spot. You might be receiving a treasure. You might be receiving um, a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, right? Let's just see what comes up. Three, two, three on the timestamp as I look up. So maybe that's a sink for some of you guys. <gasps> the door to value, card number 31. All right, so it breaks down to a four, three plus one, three, three, three on the timestamp. You've knocked at many doors. Many doors have been opened, but there's been failure. There's been dismissal there's been you know heartbreak there's been loss there's been this there's been that right so there's something here where capricorn and you guys are all about this you guys are all about the material wealth okay that's like one of the biggest things you guys are an earth sign you're 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 all about your career you're you're hard working you're you're all about the the i'm getting the skrilla the skrilla but you're about your money right your material wealth okay capricorns they don't like to be broke they don't like to be in a place where they're not sure where their next dollar is coming from or how they're going to pay bills or whatever. They are not into that, right? That would make Capricorn very uneasy. Okay. So for some of you guys, maybe that's the doors. Maybe that's what you guys, the doors you had to walk through in order to see at face value, the truth of, of certain things that are meant for you, right? Um, to be able to discern and go, nope, nope, nope. I've been here before. I'm not walking through that door again. But this one right here, it is, I mean, look at the card. It is the door to value. 
someone sees your value, your worth, and it's because you see your value and your worth where you didn't used to see it before. Like you, you struggled with that. Okay. Now the things that are coming towards you and the things that you're manifesting, they match your value, your, 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 your vibration. So it stores to value. It's like gold. It's, you know, and that's what I got was like the pot of gold. It's this, it's that. Right. And then look at all the gold, look at all the, you know what I mean? Happiness, comfort, material wealth, blessings, the Midas touch. It's like that. What you think about, you bring about. What you touch turns to gold. Okay? So there is money coming in. There's things blossoming here. There's happiness. It's the things that you would place value upon that are coming into your life. Okay? Um, again, material wealth, but also like non-material things more like love things emotional things spiritual wealth you know doors of opportunity opening you know it's not all but i just feel it's like the best is yet to come kind of a thing okay strategy you got 31 and then 21 all right so someone could be planning something all right planning something big is i feel like this is about what you've been planning this is what you've been strategizing you guys have been in like a business mode i'm getting like business model business mogul, <laughs> you know? So for a lot of you guys watching this, your business moguls or you're doing things where it's creating an extreme amount of energetic abundance, okay? That is coming down into your physical reality. Um, but there's something here about writing, right? We see the the quill, the, the journal, it says journal log. Okay, um, there is a uh, coins here and a pocket watch. Lack of compass, needle, need in it, true north. Luke Combs, love you anyway. I love you anyway. So he like talks about like this woman, you know, and he's like, you know, if I knew that, you know, she'd break my heart and leave me, a, you know, in a, you know, a statue in ancient Rome or whatever you know, a million pieces. He's like, I'd still love her anyway. Like I'd go through all this again because she was worth it because it was worth it. Right. So there's something here about you're worth it. Someone wants to, again, they see your worth and your value, true North, a compass needle, that's direction, inner compass, following the voice of your soul, strategizing possibly. Maybe someone's coming towards you, you know, maybe someone feels like, you're the one for them, you know, no matter what though, I do feel that I feel that not maybe someone's coming towards you. I feel like someone is coming towards you. Um, it's like a new door opening in your life. It's like the door to value, right? So it's like behind this door is all the things that you've wanted, dreamed of, prayed for, Matt, you know, the things that you've been manifesting. And finally Capricorn, this door is opening. It's tangible. You can see it. You can see the money. You can see the abundance. You can see the new beginnings, the blessings, um, this is a time to plan though. Okay. So for some of you guys, someone might be planning to ask you out, communicate, write something to you. There's also obviously with the journal log, it's something about, um, for some reason I'm getting like business stuff. Okay. So I feel that for some of you guys, this is a call to action about getting more organized with your business stuff, you know, receipts, your, your tax documents, just you know, expenses, like stuff like that. I feel I'm seeing like, you know, files, you know, and like accordion files and stuff like that. So there's something with that where you guys are needing to, and maybe you're strategizing at this time. Maybe you're strategizing um, new ways of making money, um, businesses, you know, uh, things of that nature, but it does feel like that. Like there's this call for organization. Maybe you're just organizing, strategizing your own life at this time, you know, working things out is what I'm getting. Okay. You know, um, organizing, working things out, clearing, clearing is kind of another thing that I'm getting here too. Okay. Um, so interesting. The stars align and something big is happening here. Okay. The door to spirit was on the bottom of the deck. Okay. Let's see what comes out right here. Ah, there it is. There it is. Look at that. Caring connections. It is love. It is love. This is someone who 
cares a lot for you. This is what's coming into your life, Capricorn, is a caring connection. You know, I feel like that's what you guys have been strategizing, planning, manifesting. It's part of the what's behind this big door, the door that's open now in your timeline, in your life, in your reality. This is a very, obviously it says caring connections. Oh, contracts, a soul contract. Some of you guys are, you fulfilled contracts. Okay, so for some of you guys, you have fulfilled certain contracts and there's balance restored karmically. Um, and now you're ready for these true loves, these caring connections, okay? Um, whatever it is, okay? You guys are, see her blindfold? You guys are no longer blind to, to injustices. Like, you know what I mean? In these regards, like you guys can see things for what they are. You, you're going, you know what? This is not good for me. You're not good for me. I can see it a mile away. Red flag, red flag. You know what? Oh, green light. You're good. You're good. I like this one. You know, it's like that. So you, you're, you're, you're discerning with, with your, not your physical eyes or your ego. You're discerning with your third eye, with your intuition, your soul, your heart, you know? And that's what I think no, that's what I know. That's why all of this stuff is like lining up and happening now, okay? Um, because you've stepped out of that. You've stepped more into alignment with your with your true north, with your destined path. Just like right here, the compass. Following their inner compass. It's like someone's inner compass, like in their in, you know, their inner compass, what they feel. It's like their compass needle points to you, Capricorn. It, it points straight to you. Okay, so you have soul contracts here. Someone's uh, the thinking man. Okay, there is, look at, he's holding a crystal too. He's holding, um, it's like a, a clear quartz crystal um, cluster, you know, pointed cluster or whatever, you know, something like that, okay? Someone could be actually getting into crystals, really connecting to crystals here. Maybe that's a part of your strategy and your door to value possibly in the caring connections. Maybe you're a crystal, maybe you're a crystal, you know, maybe that's a part of your light work. You connect very deeply to to crystals and to, you know, maybe you, you tune crystals, maybe you're being guided to, to read with crystals, you know, things of that nature. Okay. I do get that a lot, but this is someone who is seeing things crystal clear. You see that they're crystal clear. Um, this kind of crystal here, all right, the energy from it, it would connect you very intensely with your crown chakra to, to the spirit realm. Um, you know, I'm, I'm getting like very, I just held up a Lemurian, a Lemurian crystal, right? Um, and that's, you know, for me, like I'm super connected to Lemurian, uh, clear quartz crystals, specifically Lemurian, right? Um, so there's something with that too, where you guys are being specifically called to, to different crystals, different things, different, you know, maybe tools of divination, but this is someone here. There's a man here. Okay. A masculine energy we'll say is thinking, 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 thinking. That's the strategizing. That's the strategizing. That's the, what's behind door number, you know, 31. <laughs> it's card number 31, right? You know, what's behind door number, right? And it's like, well, this is who's behind door number. You know, this is it. This is someone who, again, they, they see your worth and your value. They see they see you very clearly. They feel like you you communicate clearly or you you just you say what you mean you mean what you say there's nothing you're you're just crystal clear like this crystal there's no you know drama and confusion and gray area and you know like oh well i think this person is really nice but i don't know what if they show true color? there's something about where this person just knows um that you're that you're you're solid, you're good, you're clear, you're, you're not gonna create confusion, you're not gonna create upheaval in their life. It's something like that, okay? Someone's thoughts have become, or, or, someone's thoughts are very clear about you, Capricorn. We'll just say that. Their thoughts are very clear in regards to you. Um, with this fulfilling contracts, Someone could be a life path three, four, five, or six. By the way, the way that the numbers break down all the cards, that's what we have here. We have things going in order, my loves. Three, four, five, six. Okay, and then you have a 10. Oh, look at you guys. Look at Cappy. Look. I told you. I've been thinking about you. The look in your eyes. 
when you smile that way, right? The sound of your voice saying my name. Sorry guys, my throat chakra has been like crazy. One, because my allergies have been like super crazy. My throat, my sinuses, everything, right? But again, it's because I'm a, you know, I'm a, a twin flame reader and I just, I pick up on a lot of like the collective, like energy, like very profoundly. And um, the throat has been very highly activated. And for a lot of divine masculine energies, there is a need to speak truth, to communicate, um, to just say what's on their mind kind of a thing. And that's what I'm getting. So my throat has been like funky and blocked because of what I pick up on when I read too, you know? So anyways, the door to romance. So you have the door to value and the door to romance, 31 and 33 here. And then the door to personal healing and happiness. You know, for some of you Capricorns, you've, you've, you've fulfilled soul contracts, all right? And maybe some of the contracts that you have fulfilled were, right? Maybe karmic, you know, partnerships, you know, things of that nature. It's almost like the universe is coming in and they're going, Capricorn, this is your time. This is your, this is justice scales right here. This is your time for your good karma. This is your time for karmic justice, okay? You started balancing things out. You started learning. You started, right, all the things, right? And now it's like, now it's like these doors are now opening to you because of, again, the contracts that you have fulfilled. Maybe some of you guys, you know, are balancing out energies in your own life, you know, read over any documents legal documents or anything that you have to sign contracts anything like that just read them over very closely also you guys okay but this is your time right now you have so many doors opening door to love someone is the key to you you're the key to someone's heart this right here indicates something has been locked up someone's heart's been locked up but now there's this opening it's like their love is flying all over the place when it comes to you, okay? There's just emotions flowing. See all the hearts just fluttering and then all the money fluttering? Capricorn, this is a very, uh, very, very auspicious, magical time for you. You have... What I'm getting is power couple. You have a, a strong love, a true love. I'm hearing the Judds. Um... It's a new love. They're gonna make it through the heart. But she says like, young love, strong love. It's a true love. It's a new love. They're gonna make it through the, you know. <laughs> you guys, I get a lot of music because it's just how I receive and, and it's how they send messages through because they know I'm gonna channel the energy. I'll pick up on it. Why? you know, the specific, but this is it. It's a door to happiness for you. Whatever is coming in for you, it's, it's beautiful. It's divine. It's healing. It's serendipitous. There's divine intervention here. You and this person, Capricorn, both um, what I'm getting is humble beginnings, humble backgrounds, okay? So I don't know what that means. That could be maybe you guys both grew up, you know, with not a lot of material, you know, abundance. Maybe your parents didn't have, I don't know. Whatever it is, you guys have gone through similar hardships, pains, you know, maybe in family, maybe in just overall situations in life, love, partners, you know, maybe you've known very toxic partners and they've known very toxic. There's something here where you guys both know and you get it and you vibe with each other in a very easy, organic way. Um, and there's just open, open, open energy. This is blissful energy. This is happiness. We see the white dove. We see the lotus flowers. We see the sunshine. We see the rainbows. We see a beautiful peacock back here. Peacocks are very, very resonant and special to me. Um, I have this wonderful peacock friend beautiful, long, gorgeous feathers. And he comes to visit me every morning and every night. Um, he just comes over to say hello and you know,
but it's very special um, to, to receive, you know? And, you know, peacocks are all about, they could be pride and ego and stuff, but they're about let yourself be seen. Do not hide your beautiful colors and your, your beauty from the world. You're meant to be seen and show that and flat, you know what I mean? Um, meaning like you're special, you're unique. That's what the peacock energy is. It's beautiful, it's divine, it's unique. Um, it's, it's, it's know your worth and know your value, all of that. Right. Um, and again, that's what I get. It's like, that's what you're receiving, but that's also how someone who's coming into your life, um, is, is viewing you. You have the number eight here on the bottom of the deck. The infinity symbol is going to be a very, and also just the number eight, but the infinity symbol is going to be very specific to a lot of you guys. You guys are seeing a lot of that. You're being shown that. Maybe you're dreaming of that. You could be dreaming. I'm getting the onk. Maybe you're dreaming of certain symbols. Okay, you guys are doing a lot of work in your dreams. Now, now I'm, that just opened up a whole nother channel of things that are coming through. You might feel very tired during the day right now. And you guys, you know, I, I do feel Capricorn. Like, let's say you're someone who usually, you know, maybe you can operate on five, six hours of sleep. We need rest you guys like we're not supposed to sleep on like five hours of sleep every night or whatever you know we're supposed to get seven to nine hours of sleep every night and then you know we're supposed to hydrate our vessel and you know um honestly not have any you know honestly you shouldn't even have like devices in your room electronics like that wherever your 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 bed is wherever your sleeping space is because it's your it's your time for your body to fully regenerate to fully start healing and and recharge um, and there's something here about that. So again, maybe, you know, maybe there's something where, I don't know, but I'm just getting that like interrupted sleep patterns. Maybe you're having difficulty sleeping. What I'm being told to share with you guys is if you have diffusers or, um, you know, take a shower at night and, and just dump a few drops of essential lavender oil in your shower, you know, so the steam just kind of, you know, emanates that lavender you know, essence, okay, because lavender is very calming and healing and um, it helps with, you know, stress and anxiety and grief and, you know, a lot. So you guys, for some of you guys, it's lavender. You need lavender. There's all kinds of healing qualities to lavender oil and, and, stu and such, but lavender in your shower, in your in your bath, take a, a healing bath, excuse me, see, I'm wanting to burp and I'm, but it's like a purge. It's coming from the heart, from the solar and the heart. So someone here, someone here is taking their power back. They're thinking they, they, they're standing in their power. This is someone who's standing in their power. Okay. I do feel that this is someone who again has completed some kind of karmic contracts, soul contracts. They're, 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 they're more, they're feeling more balanced in their life or something like that. It's a balanced connection. First of all, Okay, and you guys do have soul contracts together, whether this is a, a, a very strong past life soulmate or a possible twin flame. We got yin and yang showing up, okay? Um, but this was in front of yin yang eight. Okay, that's why I start talking about the infinity symbol. It says unknown, it's a crossroads. This person, there's someone here who's made they're making or they've made a huge decision. Capricorn, maybe this is you. Maybe you're making a big decision in your life right now about one thing or the next. Um, maybe you've been at a crossroads for a while. You know, I'm thinking of doing this or, you know, maybe, you know, you've been in a, you know, a, a, a relationship here, right? Where the the, the karma has, has played, it's, it's, it's done what it was supposed to do. We call karmic partners a season and a reason for a reason. <laughs> there is season and a reason. Karmic partners are not meant to last. They're meant to show you um, what it is that you don't want. They're meant to show you what it is, how you're devaluing yourself. You know, they're meant to show you the egotistical ways of yourself, what you're, you know, but eventually you rise above that and you finally see it. The blindfold comes off and you go, whoa, whoa, whoa. Everything in my life is off kilter. I'm tired of being in this unbalanced relationship. There's no respect, there's no reciprocity, there's no equal give and take, there's no balance, you know, it's all that, right? So anyways, I do feel that for a lot of you guys, um, the crossroads has been that, all right? Where it's like, you know, I, I care about this person, but I don't know what to do. 
I, I don't want to, you know, there's something here. This shows me that there has been balance. Okay. The yin and the, the yin and the yang, right? That's, 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 that's feminine yin and masculine is the yang, right? So we see that the two have come together. So for a lot of you guys, you, you've come together into full hieroscamous union with yourself, meaning your inner feminine and your inner masculine have, have balanced out beautifully. So you've done a lot of work here. Um, and again, this could just be also maybe someone else, but whatever this is here for me, this is like twin flame energy. So it's like the, the feminine and masculine, even though we all embody both, it's like them coming together. There is a union here again with the balance. You guys fit together perfectly, like yin and yang. It is that. Okay, Capricorn. So if this is you going through, yeah, look, there's a broken heart. Yeah, there's an ending here. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Someone thought they were in a happy family. There's the rainbow showing up again. Um, but really, it was like, it ended up being like this, okay? That's a hard pill to swallow, you guys. We've all been there where, you know, maybe we think, oh, we, you know. But once you guys truly awaken and you start your journey of ascension, and you rise above these these three D type ego driven karmic you know connections, um, whether that's a, a lover, which this is love, this is love for some of you guys out there for sure. For sure, this is a family dynamic. There could be children here where there's an ending. The nine is the end of a cycle, okay? And then you have 18, which eight plus one is another nine, okay? And 18 divided by two is nine, nine plus nine, right? So you have all this like nine energy here, okay? And that's what I said about interrupted sleep, uh, sleep patterns, needing lavender, stress, anxiety, and how it helps to heal and calm. This is exactly what I was talking about. You guys, so like, you know, if, if, you, if you're a client of mine, then you guys know if you've been here with me, then you know. But like everything I always say and pick up on, it's always very specific and for a reason. So for a lot of you Cappies out there, this is exactly that. You, you're going through a painful, a painful cycle is ending. Something that has caused you a lot of grief, stress, anxiety, angst, worry, depletion of energy. You do need rest. You do need to love on yourselves, okay? So for some, that's where you're at. For some, that's where you've been. Um, and this could also be, you know, again, maybe someone here, um, this thinking man possibly, who's maybe going through this and maybe this is part of what they've been thinking about and they're going, aha, I see crystal clearly what I need to do, okay? Strategizing, all right? So now I'm putting my my strategies, my plans into action, okay? Um, so yeah, and that would make sense here with this thinking man and the endings and the separ there's separation, there's broken hearts, there's pain, there's sadness. Um, I tap my heart and I send love to anybody who's going through that right now. Um, but it, it really truly is, you know, it when these things happen, it's because we're leveling up. It's because we're getting ready to go into a higher timeline, a more abundant, happier, loving timeline. We've learned lessons. Now we're going to reap the rewards of the lessons that we've learned here, right? So Capricorn, that's why you do have this because you guys have been learning these lessons, okay? This is what you deserve. This is what's coming in for you, okay? But for some of you guys, again, hard pill to swallow when we see that something we've given so much time and energy and effort into, we've built a family with someone or we've, you know, built a home dynamic, we have a life together, we have routines together, you know, it, it feels like that very much for a lot of you guys, right? There could be a divorce here, a legal separation, marriage, you know, um, and if it's not that, then it's just about fulfilling some kind of karmic contract with, with a partner or, or something like that, okay? Um, so yeah, so if this is you right here, there is a cycle ending and you are being pushed to end the cycle and the universe is showing you what your guides are saying and what spirit's showing me is that you guys have seen sign after sign after sign after sign telling you this is over, this is done, you know, there's an imbalance here for a reason um, and it's not going to change. It's not going to change, okay? So so there's something with that as well, all right? So yeah, see, all tied up. You, you've, this is a conundrum. This is things keeping you stuck in place. I mean, literally, like look at her. It's cutting away these ties, these ropes. Yeah, see, there it is, man holding the coin. There it is. There it is. A, a solid offer here. It's like the ace of coins, right? 
okay well <laughs> he's very he's very you know he's very like you know uh renaissance he's very like three musketeers you know <laughs> you know like he just has a horse right over here you know uh tied to the tree and his his you know his his sword and his sheath and you know all the things are like you know hanging off the saddlebags you know and he's just laying there like what's up baby i've got this coin for you are you ready to commit you know um and capricorn i do feel that you're like yeah 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 let's see who's behind because spirit is like look behind look behind look behind okay so let's just see it's oh wow goddess of the moon look at that intuition but this is either you whoever the feminine energy is here Okay, you're very tuned in, you're very tapped in, you're super, you know, um, spiritual, you're, 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 you're empathic, you're psychic, you're, you know, clairvoyant, you know, clairsentient, cl you know, you got the clairs going on, you're just, you're cracked open, okay, and you connect to the moon, um, there's something, it's divine feminine energy, but I feel that this person views you as this moon goddess, okay, they view you as this beautiful moon goddess, and maybe that's why they partially have felt like more tied up. Like, I got to release these ties that bind me. I got to release these chains, this devil energy. The, the Whatever's been keeping him tied up, Capricorn, and away from you, okay? The, the, the goddess of the moon, that's what's being released here, okay? That's the big decisions. That's the contracts. That's the balance. Um, it's like someone... Someone can see you on a soul level. They feel you on a soul level. That's what this is. It's, it's undeniable. It's undeniable. Okay. This could be someone in your community, someone that maybe, you know, you guys maybe have mutual friends. Um, but what I do get here, my loves is that I think there's people watching, um, that maybe are around you guys or around this person and whatever I'm getting, I'm getting very negative vibes off of these three women. It's like they watch you and they have like evil eye energy or they're just, they, they're gossiping. They don't like, you know, maybe they know the masculine here. Okay. Maybe they know the masculine. Maybe they know the masculine's karmic partner. Maybe this, maybe one of them is the karmic partner and they're talking to their friends about this or you, I don't know. I'm just getting very gossipy, negative energy here. Okay. But what I'm also getting is that this masculine, he's all eyes on you, Capricorn. All eyes on you. They, It's like pay no mind to these people. This is what matters here, okay? Um, and this right here, okay? So this is what is coming into your guys' life at this time. All right, so let me just go ahead and clarify using like a, a couple tarot cards and... And we'll just see what else wants to come through. So if this is your message, my loves, be sure to claim it as yours, of course. Um, I'm not extending this, you guys. I feel like we got like kind of what I feel like we got what we needed. I feel like we got what we need. I'm not extending this. Um, the only reason I would extend it is to figure out what this man is thinking and what he is thinking clearly about, which actually really quick, let's just confirm. Let's just confirm. So let's get a couple um, romance angels, spirit guides and angels of the highest white light and decree for Capricorn. If you guys are interested in booking with me, my loves, um, I do offer a few different reading options. General, I also offer past life Akashic readings. Um, I am an Akashic reader as well. So if that's something you feel called to, it's all down below. Um, and also down below is where you can find all the information on my limited time, um, I don't know how long, you guys. It's just until I get a good amount of people that I feel, okay, this is enough. Okay, this is good. I could work with this pe with this amount of people. Um, but it's one-on-one -on -one tarot lessons. It's been um, over a year since I offered them, and I promised you guys I would. Um, and it's all down below. Um, they are not your average tarot lesson. This is much more than just card reading because I am a psychic medium. I'm a very intense channel, right? Um, so that's what I focus on is assisting you guys in opening up more to those gifts within yourself. Okay. And trust me, like everyone that I work with before, like 
they love the lessons. They, they felt, you know, they, they've gone off and they've done beautiful things. Okay. They've started channels, created tarot decks, or they just read for self friends, do readings, you know, on the side, outside their job, whatever it is. Um, but it just, it really helped to op open people up. And you guys know, if you've been with me, that I'm a very powerful activator. Um, so we will be doing that as well with light language and quantum healing and stuff in the lessons. Um, also, if you don't want to learn the tarot, but you just feel guided to work with me, like as a spiritual mentor, it's the same pricing as the tarot lesson. And you can, again, find all the information down below. And that's an option as well. Okay, my loves, because I had a lot of people asking about that too, sending out emails, you know. Um, so anyway, so I look down and look what I see. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. So Capricorn, for, for a lot of you guys, oh yeah, this is a true love. Look at that. It says, this is the romance of a lifetime. This is the real, this is your true love. This is your true love. This is your divine counterpart. That's why we have the yin and the yang. It's like true divine union, soulmate energy. And that's what I said. Someone can just see you on a soul level. I don't know where I put it, but I don't know where I put it. But anyways, we saw it. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. So it's like, it's almost like someone is going, why am I wasting my time? Why am I over here spinning my wheels? I already know who I want to be with. I already know who I have my heart set on or my eyes set on or, you know, I already know. It's something like that, okay? So anyway, so that's what I have. So let's go ahead and just clarify and then retreat. Yeah, this is someone who wants to spend a low time with you. They want to get to know you on a deeper level. Sorry, you guys, I'm just so thirsty. Um, by the way, it's just fresh pressed watermelon juice for those of you guys who are wondering. Um, fresh pressed melon juices, but specifically watermelon. It's like my favorite, like of ever, ever, ever. Um, so I make it pretty much daily fresh, um, but it's like a natural, it's actually a natural diuretic. It's full of beautiful, powerful, right? Electrolytes, super hydrating. Like drinking one of these is like, more hydrating than drinking like four of these. You know what I mean? That's 32 ounce mason jar right there. So <laughs> so some of you guys need to drink watermelon juice and you need to like allow yourself to be around lavender oil, put it in your diffusers, let your room or your home just kind of smell, let that break up dense energy in the home and bring soothing, calm, healing energies to, to the home space, to your office space, your sacred space, whatever it is. Um, I'm also getting like, you know, for me, I don't wear perfume at all. I wear essential oils. So it's like dab here, dab here, dab here, dab here, right? And then I can smell the oils and those aren't bad for my skin if they get through, right? So, oh, oops, I started shuffling. Well, I guess I shuffled for a reason. All right, let's get one more for Capricorn. It's flirty energy and then it is safe for you to love. So Capricorn, the universe is saying like whoever this person is coming towards you, it's safe like this person is genuine they, they they truly want you or or feel you know strongly towards you or they're interested in you or they want to you know whatever it is you know of course we always use discernment but it, that's what i'm getting okay and then flirt extend your light-hearted energy to others yeah this is just you're gonna be flirty with this person you're gonna be affectionate with this person you're not gonna be able to keep your hands off each other yeah this is definitely the angels spirit babies you know maybe babies that you two are meant to have you know or, or a baby they're they're guiding this they're bringing you guys together look at see them look at those little stinkers they're working hard man they're working hard to get you guys together right but yeah this person is is on their way on my way to you cody johnson right all the lips i kissed all the hearts i broke and i was just passing time Kinda just passing through on my way to you. <laughs> I'm not a singer, you guys. I know. People tell me all the time, Erica, you should really just quit your, you know, just quit your business. You, you know, you you really should think about singing as a career. You've got something here. Maybe go on the voice. Leo energy, the strength card. Yeah, this is strength. This is taking a lot of strength from the heart. Okay, the heart is lit up here, whoever this person is. They're no longer like going back and forth. They're just not like this two-faced energy here. Okay, they want to speak truth, but their heart is in it big time. Big time. Okay, bottom of the deck, look at that, the moon. I'm falling, falling for you. She's falling fast. 
fast. Look at the full moon too. You know, um, this is the end of a phase. It's the end of a cycle. If you guys have known this person, you've been in separation, you're coming out of separation. There's a lot of hidden feelings here, secrets. This person has kept hidden, okay? This is the strength card wanting, it takes strength to reveal what I need to reveal, okay? Um, so this is all kind of right for, for him right here, okay? So show me about the man holding the coin. I mean, the thinking man too. They're the same person, by the way. Could be two different people for some. Maybe it's someone who thinks a lot about you, you know, who has an offer. And then maybe there's just this other person that shows up that has an offer. That comes through a lot recently for, for a lot of you guys. What is he thinking about the Hierophant? Look at that. He's thinking, oh my gosh. Yep. Divine Masculine. It's the Emperor and the Hierophant. His higher self. This person is reconnected to their soul. They're, they're, they've had enlightenment. They're thinking of how they feel towards you. Their emotions. Um you know, the fact that they can't, they can't quit you, baby. They can't put you down. They feel like past life energy with you with the Hierophant here. It's yeah. Like this could be a father, a boss, someone who's been married, divorced. They're a leader. They are a, you know, maybe a business owner, entrepreneur, CEO. This is not someone who works for, you know, this is like someone who they run their shit. They run their shit, right? Um, I'm getting the word enterprise, okay? So this is someone who is, they're fixing. They're, 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 they're fixing to make a move. They're getting ready to make a move. That's what they've been thinking about, strategizing. I said that. I said that, strategizing, planning. That's him, okay? This is extra long reading copies, but that's okay. This is someone who's got long-term commitment with you on their mind, okay? Um, and if this is like someone who's new for you, then this is what they're gonna want with you. It's, you know, but for many of you guys, it's you've already met the romantic partner that you seek. It's true love, romance of a lifetime, okay? Um, this could also just indicate past life energy where maybe you haven't met this person, but you guys know each other on a soul level. So when you do meet, it's instant. It's it's like love at first sight because you guys remember on the past life energy between the two of you guys. So whatever it is, there's someone here planning or, or ready to make a move or they're about to make a move. And it and it brings forth a, a very committed, long-term, long-standing uh, relationship or marriage or whatever it is. Okay. But yeah, love is in the air. <laughs> I keep saying that you guys, I keep saying that with like a whole bunch of readings for like four or five days now. I just keep singing it in my stories on Instagram. Love is in the air, you know, cause I'm being shown a lot. The universe knows how I'm going to articulate and how I'm going to deliver the message. So they show me quite a few things, right? All right. So anyways, I love you guys. Thank you so much. Again, all the information is down below in the description box. If you want to book with me, um, anything like that. Okay. I send you guys so much love and light. Thank you for all of your love and support. Thank you for commenting. I love reading your guys' comments. I love just knowing how you guys connect, even if I don't respond because I'm one person and that's a lot. Um, but I do try to go through and like show love, at least like drop a heart or whatever. Um, so thank you for that and for every like and for sharing and for helping, um, to be a part of this message and for the channel's growth and for being a part of, um, our soul family. Right. All right. So bye my loves.